cinematic hello collective it's kai <laughs> motherfucker i'm back <laughs> i'm back i keep saying this but true it's so true like spending time with myself and actually oh my god did you see it you didn't see anything <laughs> but genuinely coming back into the self being with myself honoring myself moving forth for myself with myself because of myself <laughs> i'm about to go out to a open mic because i haven't really been doing my poetry and i've been writing a lot more especially as it like as it's been like a kind of version of a different version of hermit mode since i go to work like almost every day of the fucking week so i've really been acknowledging that it's so important for me to do what i enjoy what brings love and light into my life and i'm the only one who can fucking define that and it's so funny because i talk about this shit on my fucking channel all the time it just comes in different waves and it's moving from love not for love but in the name of love god damn it it's so good when i am honest with myself and doing what truly i enjoy and the things that I like and so depending on how my body feels I might go out after if not I'm gonna come back home but either way it's like having these options going with my flow allowing myself to express myself fully right and I recognize that there was a very deep part of myself that had a very hard time um, allowing the spotlight to be on me and the reason being, like, many, many, like, emotionally tumultuous experiences performing with piano because of how strict it was and needing to be perfect, not only in that sense of music and performing in that way, but also at home. And so I had to really dig deep today and I was just like, you know what? It, it's been this whole journey to acknowledge that I can't let anyone stifle my light. And that comes in many different ways as well. Like sometimes I'm an exuberant little fuck on the dance floor at a club or I'm at a fucking open mic and I'm just speaking my fucking truth and saying how I really feel but through the poetic word. And sometimes I'm just freestyling on Instagram. Like there's so many different ways that I can tap into this energy. It's just understanding that it has to come from me. And talking to you guys like literally like what the fuck am i even doing truly like <laughs> like it's so ironic it's this irony that i live of like do i really want to be in the spotlight because i'm a scorpio sun and a scorpio mercury and i'm like i want to share with you guys what i'm thinking i want to share with you guys what i'm feeling what i'm going through as much as i actually need to fucking like process myself and be with myself especially being introverted like this is a form of me not only communing with you guys but communing with myself like i have been really going through this whole recognition of how i've really downplayed the amount of love that i feel for people and because of their responses i felt like it was really like a sense of like me over dramatizing it like and yet at the same time acknowledging that it's really not that big of a deal to feel this much to have this much love for like fucking life and the simple things and like even somebody like literally it's not that fucking big of a deal and yet because of the like lack of reciprocation that i was giving myself right so it's not about other people it's literally like what am i willing to show myself i've been showing myself so much fucking love like in the mental scape as much as like feeling my emotions letting myself grieve like past parts of me and maturing and like tapping into your inner child is so fucking important as much as acknowledging the maturing aspects of ourselves because we need to fucking learn and grow. And the only way that we can truly evolve is through love. The only way that we can truly evolve is through love because the moment it comes outside of ourselves, we are not cultivating it within. It's not being created. It's being sought out. It's being chased. And that's why I don't like 
the whole concept of like men should chase women no we should just fucking meet each other in the fucking middle <laughs> and like it's it's just a, a big ironic like situation because i was going through that dynamic of like chasing someone and then like when i pulled back my energy i recognized like i don't i don't want this person to chase me i want to meet someone that is going to meet me where i'm at I just need to show up authentically and consistently as myself. And I've been practicing that and also cleansing and clearing a lot of energies and past patterns that I do not fucking align with anymore. And I was upset with myself. And then I recognize like, I actually don't feel upset. I'm just speaking to myself in the same ways that I used to. And it's trailing back to that whole conditioning of how I was raised as a child. And it's just like, I was raised very harshly being so fucking for real i got honnasso like very harshly and it's like that whole punishment thing like that's such a fucking illusion it's so it's a construct of control that literally doesn't exist it just instills fear and that's why i've had so much fear to be myself because when i'm very sensitive it was shut down or when i was very bright it was like it, it like I got bullied like literally by like being myself and befriending so many different types of people that like brought a lot of attention towards me and so I correlated getting attention with being my most brightest authentic self and so it's like reconditioning myself unconditioning myself like redirecting this energy back into me so that I can source and be true no matter where I go and I'm feeling a lot fucking better. I'm feeling so much better. And so I'm about to leave. I just wanted to share this little tidbit. Um, thank you so much for being here. Seriously. Thank you for fucking watching my whole fucking journey unfold. And seriously, like, I was kind of um, referencing the person who actually inspired me to start my channel. And it's crazy how it's been years. And, like, I still feel inspired by them. But in different ways. And, like... That's the beauty of interaction through the fucking, like, metaverse. Like, truly, like, there's so many fucking different fractals of self that are being presented. And, like, acknowledging that this is just one moment. That's just what I do on YouTube. It's just one moment of me. And I have ups and downs. And I really do appreciate you guys, like, holding space for me. Because you're precious you're fucking alive you are you and i'm grateful for that and so i'm sending you guys so much love and support on your own spiritual journey bye guys <laughs>